Hey everybody, it's Trevor here with the channel where every day is range day and in today's video we're taking a look at a way you can paint your rifle. Now you can make it as simple or as complicated as you want but you really only need a couple things to get going and making a cool paint job. First off, of course you need a rifle. Then of course you need a couple cans of spray paint, whatever colors you're looking at going for. In this particular build I was going for sort of a multi-cam black color palette, not necessarily the camo pattern. but just the colors involved. So I did some greens and browns, things of that nature. You also want some tape, just to make sure that um, any items or portions of the gun you don't want painted, don't get painted, and to protect the interior of your rifle from getting all gummed up from the paint. You can use pretty much whatever you want. I had some painter's tape laying around, duct tape, masking tape, whatever, it'll work. And then you also need some sort of material for um, laying the pattern onto your rifle. I was going with sort of a hexagon type pattern because they are the coolest shape, of course. So I got this like hexagonal mesh fabric from like a lo local craft store for like a couple bucks. You can also use those mesh laundry bags that everyone seems to have lying around, but you basically lay this over there to transfer a pattern onto your finish. You can also use something like needles or leaves or something like that if you're going for more of a uh, natural finish like that, but I went with this because I think it looks cool. But overall, this is really all you need to get going, so let's take a look at the process. So here you can see that I have everything taped off and I have all my colors set out. But now remember, my final coat will end up being black, so the other colors will actually make up the hex pattern here. I've got a dark green, brown, and tan for those main MCB colors, and then a silver because I think it'll look cool in certain areas. So starting off with the brown, I'm just going to paint a section with some diagonal slashes to get going, making sure to get decent coverage from all the different angles on the weapon. I try to size the sections so that they're about five or six total, but that's really up to your own personal tastes and how you want it to work. Up next is my green, and I'll just do the same thing for the next section on the rifle, making sure to keep the angle somewhat consistent with the last section and getting coverage on all the angles. I do a silver streak here to match my safety and charging handle, and then it's back to the brown. But don't worry if you mess it up a little bit either, it's paint. Just spray back over it if you overspray and go too far until you're happy with it. But now it's back to my green and brown sections for the main colors, just making sure I get good coverage all along the rifle and keep my angles the same. And then it's just a little bit more silver at the end because why not, I think it'll look pretty cool. And this essentially forms the main base for the paint job. With the base done, I just go back over with the lighter tan color to add some accents. I wanted the main color scheme to be darker, but I still wanted to include the tan. I also revisit some other colors to touch up some oversprays and also just add to the camo style. You can be as creative as you want here, but just keep in mind that anything not covered up by the mesh will be painted over in the next step. And here is the first side all done. Just let it dry for a few minutes and do the same on the other side. Now that both sides are done, we'll apply the top coat of black over the mesh layer. It's best to do this in sections with your pattern material and do your best to get that pattern fitting as tightly over the rifle as possible to get a bolder look. Also make sure to avoid overspraying onto the uncovered areas and avoid spraying it on too heavy. Puddles or runs in the paint can really ruin the look. If there's anywhere to take your time during the process, it's definitely at this step. I initially started off doing larger sections and it just wasn't working too great with all of the weird shapes and angles that you find on a rifle, especially around like the receiver areas or differences where you have optics or foregrips in the way. You, can't, you just can't get the pattern as tight as you need to to really get the underlying hex shapes to really pop. So after one pass, I went back over a few areas I wasn't happy with with the normal camo colors for the base coat, and then just worked at it in smaller sections, making sure I got the pattern material right up against each surface as I went along. It took a bit more time, but it came out a lot better. Just do this over and over until you're happy with it and let it dry a couple minutes, then just rinse and repeat on the next side. Again, working on smaller sections really helps with making the pattern stand out as you go along and it'll look super cool at the end when you're done. And here we have it, all painted up, the pattern's pretty clear and I gotta say, I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. 
I just let it dry for a few hours and peeled off all that masking tape. I also painted my mags to match the same style. Check out Mac's video on the channel for an easy tutorial on painting your own rifle mags. Overall, painting my rifle was a fun time and I'm happy with the result. I was sort of attempting to match the new sling I got from T-Rex Arms. Stay tuned for a review on that in the future. But you can be as creative as you want when painting your own and I hope you enjoyed the process. Well, that looks like it's gonna be it for the video today, guys, on how to do a quick paint job for your rifle. We walked through a couple of the steps that I did for my recent paint job and how you can too. If you have any questions or wanna share other paint job ideas that you might have, feel free to leave them down below in the comments and we'll get back to you. If you like the video, feel free to leave a like. And as always, make sure to subscribe to the channel where every day is Rain's Day. Thank you for watching.